Hey YouTube, thought I'd give you an update on some of the corn. This is the corn at one of my buddy's house. It's uh, Silver Queen. It's not as green as I'd like it to be. I probably didn't put enough fertilizer on it, but it's it's going to do what it's going to do now. It's too late to probably put anything on it. It's tasseling out, and uh, Sammy there is in some green beans. And happy Father's Day to everybody, by the way. And then over here is the four rolls of ornamental corn I planted. And this seems to be doing okay. I'm just kind of not used to the way it grows. It, if you'll notice, it's got a, for some reason or another, it shoots off little shoots on the bottom here. I'm not really used to them, but we'll let it grow and see what happens. And like I said, all we're really looking for on this is to get a little ornamental corn and, and some seed back so that's not really looking much on that the sunflowers i've only been able to cultivate them one time they're doing good and if it if the weather would cooperate i may be able to get back in here i may not be able to i'm not sure come on over here will And as you can see on the sunflower, I mean, they're, you know, they got a lot of leg on them. They're growing pretty good. Uh, they do have some grass in there. If I can get back to them one more time to cultivate them, that'll be okay. But it, it's not that important of a deal because he's just going to bush hog them and I think uh, use them for a dove hunting patch. So uh, if grass does get in it, it's not like it's going to be that big of a deal but they'll get on up and shade the grass out quite a bit but it's a pretty field and i'll try to keep you updated when it when it flowers out but we're going to go back down to my house and video a little bit there and just show you a couple of ideas i got for next year hey youtube this is my patch at my house i've had corn in here for about 10 years straight and this year is the last year I'm gonna put it in here I'm gonna plant fescue in it and let it set out for two or three years I'm gonna let this garden set out for two or three years I've already planted half of it in fescue I'm gonna plant the other half in fescue and we're gonna go back with some garden across the hill over there where I've had in corn and garden before I'll show it to you in a minute and hopefully we'll do a video on getting some of the weeds cut down to get ready for next year. I'm gonna put some um, lime out on it. And we got a few potatoes to, to dig. And I'll show you a video on the potato plow. I, uh, well, it's actually a furrow plow that I turned into a potato plow. But right now, this time of year, I don't have a lot of cultivating left to do, so there's not a lot of videos on that, but I do have one we can do on cutting some land and digging potatoes and i may get back up to the sunflower field this week if i can if it don't rain no more and we may try to cultivate it some more and have a video of that and i'll probably try to do that field in second gear and really try to throw some dirt on it i know some of you so my name's joey and i don't think i've ever said that other than my YouTube channel, JT West, but my name's Joey. My cameraman right now, his name is Will. And my middle son is Elliot. And my youngest son is Sam. And my wife's name starts for T. So now if you put it together, you'll figure out where the JT West comes from. <laughs> That's something shortly after Sam was born that me and my wife came up with a long time ago. And I got a license plate for my truck that says JT West. And, and we always pick about, well, if we open a restaurant, it'd be called JT West Steakhouse or, you know, anything we do would be JT West this, JT West that. So that's where it came from. It's it's my family and, and maybe if Ellie, well, he's over there. I don't know if he's ever been on camera, but uh, I think you've seen Sam and here, I'll show you Will. This is the cameraman. Yep. He, he does all the good footage and makes me look like I halfway know what I'm doing. 
but he's going away to college this fall to UNC Wilmington. So either Sam or Elliot's going to have to Ellie. Either Sam or Elliot's going to have to do camera duty. Um, here comes Ellie. I'm waiting for you for camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my other son, Elliot. And then little Sam's over here. And he's over there talking to my daddy. I live right behind my daddy. I'm fortunate enough to do that. And uh, this used to be about an 80 acre tobacco farm and we sold most of it off which paid the note on the whole farm and kept about six acres of it and that's what i live on is the six acres of it but i'm real good buddies with the guy that bought it and so i pretty much could do whatever i want to do on it he just hunts on it he's a real nice guy out of raleigh owns a coffee company but anyway i'll show you the corn patch for next year before I forget, one of my subscribers was having a little bit of problem with cultivators covering up his crop when he's cultivating. Your tractor, my tractor, is set up on 44 inch rolls. What does that mean? Well, that means from this back tire, the center of it, to the center of this back tire is 44 inches. And ever how you want to do it, ever how you want to plant, if you want to mark your rolls off with the tractor and hand plant it right down the center, that's fine doesn't make no difference but if those rolls get squeezed in like if that gets squeezed over here and that one gets squeezed over there well when you come down this roll right here that back feet is going to be covering up the next roll so you got to keep from tire width to tire width to tire width to tire width keep them all the same keep all the plants in the center and then you shouldn't have no problem with it covering it up now occasionally depending on the foot that I use on the back of the tractor, if I use the shovel feet, I've had it to be picking up so much dirt, it still throws it over our, to the center of the next roll. So different people set tractors up on different lengths. I think mine's 44. I think I've heard of people saying 48 inch, 140 rolls. I'm not sure about 46, but it, it all depends on where your hubs are on your back tire, whether you put them on the inside or the outside. How you bolted them to the tractor but i just thought i'd throw that in there to hopefully help a couple subscribers out some of you guys already know this it's it's worthless information to you but there's some that may not realize it uh, this is the patch this will be 2021 corn patch and i'll take you all the way through it um maybe next week monday tuesday thursday or friday at church on wednesday i'm gonna try to cut this and just let it start dying out and get some uh, uh, lime and put on it. And then we'll go through plowing it this fall. I used to have garden in here, pretty much this section that you see mowed here. It didn't go all the way. It went stopped behind the shed there, but just this section you see mowed. I had garden here for five, six, seven years in a row, and I switched it over there. So we're going to let that lay out. For five or six years and we're gonna not gonna bring back all of this i'm actually just gonna bring back a piece of it i uh, don't want to bring back all of it but i'm gonna bring back a piece for some beans and i gotta figure out something on my green beans next year as far as one of the subscribers said use soap and uh garlic and we may just try that next year and plus i'm gonna run a speaker wire out here and i'm gonna put a loud speaker in here to play all night so hopefully between the two maybe the deer won't eat them up I really don't want to build a fence. I know I could. My uncle's done it. You know, he's built a 10 foot tall woven wire fence. And I, I just, when you look at the budget of the money you would spend on that fence, I mean, I could go somewhere and buy bushels and bushels of green beans and can. So, I mean, I like growing my own stuff, but I also want to be conscious about how much I spend on it because even this corn that I raise and sunflowers is more, it's more a hobby than anything because, I mean, for the money I've spent on the fertilizing fuel for the corn, I'm sure I could go probably buy a pickup bed of roast near corn to can. But um, it's just something I like doing for my boys. And I enjoy the tractor 
Uh, I don't play golf or any of those things, which nothing wrong with playing golf, but the tractor is my golf, so to speak. But I uh, appreciate you watching. And I told somebody the other day, I, I, I asked a guy, I said, uh, what comes to your mind when I say William Shatner? And he said, Star Trek. I said, yeah, I said, we were talking about my YouTube channel. I said, I'm afraid I'm gonna get William Shatner on my YouTube channel to where the only thing people gonna know me by is Farmar 140 or how to set up a 140 or cut a 140. I, but I do enjoy passing on some of that knowledge that I learned and, and I, I certainly learned trial by fire. And some of the things I do may not be exactly IH's way of doing it, but it's worked out well for us and it's worked out well for the corn patch. And um, and I like sharing those things. I like helping people out. It's, it's, it's real good. I guess what I would envision with the YouTube channel is to do, you know, maybe something on my saw also, maybe cutting wood, maybe something on the truck or my RV. I might do a walk around video on that RV here coming up before we go on vacation. Um, yeah, the little animals and the pot belly pig that showed up out of nowhere into the yard. We named them Sid. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, I'd like to see the channel grow and maybe it can grow into stuff that would help people out. Um, my wife said there was a YouTube channel for folks out there that, you know, guys that didn't have a dad to show them how to change a flat tire or show them how to change some plumbing in the kitchen and stuff. And, and so I guess that's where I got the idea about the 140 because I really love it. And there's a lot of people out there that probably know more technical stuff about that 140 than I'll ever know. Um, one comes in mind, I watch his channel all the time, Farmall 51. Uh, he probably knows more about that 140 than I'll ever know. And real nice guy, wonderful channel. You should check it out. Um, but I just I just enjoy showing what I know. And, and I want to do a video on that Farmall 100 down at my uncle's house, which is not too far from here, and show you the first tractor that I learned on to drive a tractor. And over the years now, I've drove and operated, oh my gosh, I've operated 1566s, 1466s, 1066s. Combines. Case IH 2150s, combines, 4430 John Deere's, a 2955. When I say operated, I mean I've cut land with them, I've combined it with them, I've spent tons of hours on them, bell and hay. Uh, but it's kind of funny out of all that big equipment, you know, you come back to the tiny. to the whole tiny 140. But I always said, if you put me in a John Deere combine, I can combine around your rose bushes and never touch the first rose. But you put me on a drive riding lawnmower, I will mow that thing over every <laughs> time. I don't know what it is about the big stuff. I can handle a lot better than I can the little. But uh, so I just thank you all for watching and hopefully we can get some videos that you guys will be interested in and and i don't think we got a close-up this is sammy he's the baby so he's the s part of jt west and uh the t parts in the house obviously you know how uh things are she don't want to be on camera but that's all right she's maybe, reading her book and drinking her coffee well maybe one day we'll get her on camera but so appreciate y'all watching y'all have a wonderful father's day and thank you okay bonus footage YouTube no joke my wife calls me up and she says honey there's a pig in the front yard and I said you're kidding me and uh, long story short I told her I said well if it's one of our neighbors pets they will come looking for it tonight well that's been about a week and a half ago and nobody's come looking for it and I live in a real rural area where there's not many people around me so if it was one of my neighbors they would have come looking for it so the best thing I can figure is somebody dumped old boy out and so for now he's in the goat pen i gotta figure out what to do with this rooting he's rooting a lot i kind of know what will stop it because i've done it before when i was younger and that's rings in the nose but i hate it doing that but i guess we'll keep him i guess he's part of the the herd now but uh his My name buddy. is sig the pig I named him personally when I seen him. 
It's the first time I've ever seen a pig in real life. <laughs> Sig, I'm tiny. I can't take your body. <laughs> Don't let him push you against that board, son. <laughs> Get away from that board. He'll push your legs against that board. Uh, having a pig is fun, though. But he'll slobber on you. Don't let him step on you. Um, it's the first pig I've ever seen Go in person. That, I'm in blue empty bucket. But in there. He, he loves to push his water bucket around when he gets it out. We had to put rebar around his water bucket so he wouldn't get it and dump it out. But right now, when it rains and at night, he lays under the house right there. We have a ditch so the front yard, so in front of the house doesn't wash out. He wallowed in it, and I had to fix it, and it took a long time, so he can't be let out anymore. But he's a big boy. We'll have. We'll eat them if we really have to, though.